Hey gang, dmart95 here, about ready to do a video on how to bore out a GY6 case engine. Uh, it's a fairly simple process. There's uh, different methods you can go about it. What I'll be using is a Tata case boring tool. This is a really nice tool. You can set the you can set the blade depth on it to, to make uh, your case opening as wide as you want. Now, from what I've discovered, the stock 157 QMJ, which is your typical GY6 150. Uh, now, this goes for long case and short case. The opening right here, from here to here, is 63 millimeters. So, if you happen to buy a big bore kit and it's larger than your opening, your 63 millimeters right here, you're going to have to cut the case. That's a very simple process. I'll show you how to do that here in a minute. So the first thing you got to do is you find your big bore kit. This this cylinder right here is uh, this is a 61 millimeter Taiwan kit. So is what you got to do is you got to get a measurement of how big your uh, skirt is. This part right here it's called the skirt. I've also seen it called the sleeve. I think the sleeve is when you're referring to the thing from up here at the top all the way to the bottom because it's a sleeve that runs all the way through. So this is a skirt and the whole thing is a sleeve. But anyways, you need to get a measurement of how big it is. Okay, this one is it is right at 60 63.9 we're gonna say 64 uh, actually it did bump up to 64 my digital caliper is one I bought from Harbor Freight and it's not very accurate I mean it'll read to the millimeter but when you get into the tenths of the millimeter or the, or the thousandths it's not the greatest so anyways I set it for 64, a little bit over 64. So, half of 64 is 32. So, is what you're going to do. Scoot this down to 32. And then, down here, on the bottom of this, you'll see a hole. Now, in order to adjust your blade depth, this is this is your blade what I'm touching right here in order to adjust your blade depth you take these Allen bolts or Allen head bolts and back them out a little bit and this comes in or out that allows you to adjust the uh, the depth that you want it so so is what I do is I just get a measurement from the center of this bolt hole to the tip of my blade and then when I'm at the 32 millimeters then I know it's going to be wide enough to cut my uh, case so in order to cut your case first step you need to do is you assemble your two halves together now some people I have seen uh, they put the gasket in between there uh, they get a spare gasket and they put a gasket in there. They say it's to make sure that your hole is true to round. Well, that may be the case and that may be accurate info. But what I found with mine is when you do that, the gap in between these two, in between the two case surfaces, causes this thing to skip and it causes a real rough cut. So... I've learned to just cut it without the gasket and the holes just fine anyways with a nice fitting skirt. So I prefer to cut it without the gasket. If you want to put the gasket in there, more power to you. You're probably doing it the correct way. I just do not do it that way. So anyways, to assemble your crankcase halves, it's really simple. You're going to have your alignment dowel pins. Make sure they're in place. Those, those two. And then, just simply, uh, just 
put them together. Now, once you get them together, you're going to have to secure them together uh, nice and good. So, go ahead and drop some bolts in there. I won't make you sit here and watch the video. While I put all the bolts in here, I'll just show you where I put them. Because you're going to be putting pressure on the case when, when you cut it. So, I just want to make sure I get them in the right spot. That one, and that one. So, there, 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 and there. I don't know if I got that. There, 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 and there. Now, that, that'll hold it. That'll hold them two cases together plenty well enough for the next step. So, I'm going to go ahead and tighten those down, and I'll be right back as soon as I get those tightened down. Okay. What? What? Okay. Sorry about that. I hit a button. I didn't know if it's going to mess up the video. Uh, once you have your two uh, halves assembled together, so what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to put the case cut cutting tool on there. Now, to do that, it's just like you're putting a, a regular cylinder on there. Um, I'm just, it may sound like I'm staggering here because... I don't quite know how I'm going to be able to do this while I'm holding the camera. It's quite tricky. Um, uh, long story short, make sure this is up in here. And your studs are going to go in these holes. And I'll be right back as soon as I get that on there. And then you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, now I just slid that on there. Once you get that on there, go ahead and tighten down your your stud bolts right here. Just as if, uh, well, not if you're installing a cylinder because that actually has studs. But anyways, I'll be right back after I tighten these down. Okay, once you have it all tightened down, I'm going to try to see if I can get some good light here I don't know if you can see that blade see so what's going to happen is it cuts from the top like now is how I'm going to power this with my trusty Makita drill I do have a drill press but trying to fit these engines in there and set up a jig to where I can bore out different cases proved to be more trouble than it's worth when I found out uh, just a simple hand drill works just fine as long as you take your time uh, you know I like the hand drill because it's a variable speed and I'll show you how it's done now before I get into that let me explain a few things here regarding depth how how deep you go is see the height of the cylinder right here of, of the skirt that's how deep you're gonna have to go in into that engine uh, I can't get a good shot but as you can see it's roughly the same size as what's sticking out right right here right about here is how deep that's got to go in all this that I'm touching it's got to be submerged into the engine now you'll see it the metal shavings come out over here and over here as I'm cutting now it's important to note do not try to cut this on its side put it on its other side or other side this right here hang on show you a different one here this one right here is a bearing okay the shaft goes through this shaft it goes through this bearing this bearing turns if you put too much weight on it either way side to side you'll screw up and do what I've done now right here this is what I'm talking about this is what I did see I was cutting on the side and I didn't realize it started going real nice and good up here but as I cut deeper into the engine bam I hit that oil port and I cut right through the side of the engine or the side of the casting so 
you're going to want to make sure it stands straight up when you do this. So, let's get on with cutting this case out, shall we? I'm going. Alright, here we go. I have my assistant Kelly holding the camera. I hope you guys can see this. Well, I'm going to... All you do is you just start cutting. Remember, you want to keep this upright at all times, else it will cut into the case. Don't try to go too fast, and don't try to force it in there. Let the tool do the work. I'm just kind of setting the drill on it and letting it do the cutting. If you feel it start bouncing or something, back it off some. Remember, let the tool do the work. Take your time with this. Just about done. And there we go. As you can see, we're we're where we gotta be. Sweet. So just go over a little bit, make sure it's done. And that's it. Go ahead, pause it. Okay, so once you're done with that, you're just gonna want to remove your cylinder here. Uh, this is gonna be quite difficult one-handed. Let me pause this for a second. Alright. So, once you pop this thing off, be prepared to watch it rain aluminum. So, pick it up, shake it out. You're going to want to try to get out as much of aluminum as you can. Once I'm done, I'm going to go blow it out with the air compressor. And then when I disassemble it, uh, assemble it, uh... I will hit it with brake clean and you know make sure all the little fine particulate is cleaned up but anyways right here's our new hole let's see if it fits our big bore cylinder okay so here we go here's our new big bore this is a 61 millimeter and as you can see, perfect fit. Goes all the way down. And as you can see, it's very tight tolerance, no room for play really. So the skirt will be making contact with the engine. That's all that really matters. So that my friends, is how you bore out a case. Now, a few things to note here. Now here we have a different case that I did for a different customer that's installing a Kata big bore kit. They're installing one that has a skirt of 65.5 millimeters. That's huge for an AK cylinder. Now the absolute biggest that you can bore these things out it's 60 uh, 65.8 millimeters it's real close almost 66 millimeters it looks like it on uh, tape measure but it's not it's 
66.8 I don't know if I'll be able to get a measurement on this thing zero so, but anyway it's or no I'm sorry yeah that's 65.8 almost 60 well might as well say 66 close enough so but anyways that's the absolute biggest you can go. Let me explain why. If you go any bigger than that, uh, trying to get this a good shot. If you go any bigger than that, do you see how thin this is right here? That's almost that's paper thin. Look up here where your uh, guide pins will be going. Your dowel guides. See how close that is? Good thing that uh, the skirt's going down in there and that's not going to be experiencing the massive amounts of pressure. But this engine right here is a race engine and if they get more than a few races out of it, they'll be more than happy. You know, a lot of these race engines are built extreme and they put a lot of pressure in these things and they blow apart and that's the reason why you go shaving off too much metal and stuff and that's the end result you weaken the case and uh with weak points you call it causes failures and will cause it to destroy itself but anyways long story short they start out at 63 millimeter stock you can bore them up to 66 or 65.8 whatever it is but that's how you bore out a gy6 engine if you want to discuss anything you saw in this video or you have uh, questions or comments or just would like to say hi uh, you can talk to me at uh, the YouTube comment section but I'm more easily accessible at my new web forum www.dansgaragetalk.com that's dansgaragetalk.com d-a-n-s garagetalk.com and I if you're interested in wanting these services performed on your engine uh, you can look me up at martinmopeds.com that's where we offer all of our services from engine replacement to case boring we build performance race engines we can do anything you want to one of these gy6 engines and also i'm building a huge archival website to document all the differences between all these you know you got the 50 cc the 125 150 all gy6 all the way up to 250 they have six pole four pole 11 pole eight pole stators different starter clutches I'm going to attempt to try to cover all that, show what's swappable and whatnot. But anyways, long story short, that's how you bore a case. That's how much you can bore a case. That's what they start out as. And be sure to check out my new forum at dancegaragetalk.com. Uh, it's growing really fast. It only it was launched a few weeks ago, and we already got a bunch of members. So I hope to see you there. Uh... Thanks for watching my video. If you found it uh, good or anything useful, give me a like, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys and gals later. D Martin 95, and I am out.